Okay, Houston, right. we've had a problem here. Mrs. Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Welcome, Houston. When we think about the Earth, we often think about it in four spheres. The spheres are the hydrosphere, the atmosphere, the geosphere, and the biosphere. Now, I'm going to draw some arrows between all of them because here's kind of the big idea from this particular video. All of them are connected. The atmosphere, right, let's define each of these. Atmosphere, that's the stuff above the surface of the Earth, right? The air, right? Atmosphere. And it starts at the bottom of the Earth and goes up to the troposphere. We'll get into a lot of details later on in the course. Hydrosphere, water. water. Hydro, this is all the water we find on the Earth, the oceans, the lakes, the streams. The geosphere, this is the rock. This is the actual, like, solid piece of the Earth, right? This is rocks and minerals and then the core of the Earth. And the biosphere is everything that's alive. But the fact that they're interconnected, so often what's happened in science is we look, there's atmospheric scientists, there's geologists, there's biologists, there's um, water scientists, uh, et cetera, et cetera, and they don't talk to each other. But the, here's the crazy thing, right? They interact with each other and they play with each other. That's, that's what they do. Let's go a little bit deeper on the geosphere. And let's take a look at a few images. This first one that you can see now is fascinating in that what's going on is that we can see kind of the layers of the Earth, right? You've got the, the top, which is the, the crust, we actually call the lithosphere. And then you go deeper and you get to the upper mantle and there's the lower mantle and literally there's the core of the Earth. So you can see the layers and obviously there's the atmosphere right there. So, so the Earth and how we know all this stuff, it's gonna come up when we talk about all the details. It has to do with earthquakes and awesome stuff like that. The next image I wanna show you is kind of a cross section of the Earth. And you can see now we've got the inner core, the outer core, the mantle, and then the crust, the crust or the lithosphere is such a skinny, skinny part. But that's, of course, all we sort of experience on a day-to-day -day basis because we live, well, we live on the on the, uh, on the, on the lithos lithospheric plates, we often say. And it turns out when we look at the lithosphere, now this is the, the, the upper part, the crust, it can be divided into some plates. And these are some images you can see of what the plates might look like, actually, that they do look like. So crazy short video. Understand that there are these four spheres. These four spheres interact with each other.